Uh, this is the Lynx 6x6. This is a French Tier 8 light tank. The map is Frontline Epic Normandy. You can see I'm platooning with three of my best friends, Volonix and Blair Achije, Achihote. So I am just going to drive across the map with my amazing 400 millisecond ping time. And I am just going to go straight into the enemy, enemy territory. I'm going to kill three tanks right at the start of the game. Right now, watch this. Amazing. Amazing. See how fast I'm going? Wow, look at that. I used my amazing... Oh, come on. F this, F this. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, that's fun. Always fun to have lag and latency, which my understanding doesn't exist in the game. Unless you're Unicum. Um, what was that? Please post in the comments about my poor gameplay. You have poor positioning. You're not supposed to play that. That tank is not supposed to be played that way. That class of tank is not supposed to be played that way. You were turning left when you were supposed to be doing left, left. Okay, so even though I have crazy lag and latency, I'm going to harass these guys a little bit. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, look at that. Went right over him. Once it gets down to 20 seconds, I'm still going to be here because I'm going to forget that I'm supposed to leave. So, trying to get behind him. Still got some time. I tried using my wheels to block damage. I'm not sure if it works. I, I really haven't confirmed it or not. What do you think he thinks? He thinks, stupid, stupid, you're stupid. These guys didn't even leave. I mean, they're still up on the hills. We're going to go say hello. Hello. Oh, did you get repairs, huh? Progetto. Ah, oh, you like the progetto. Which, of course, means project. Hello. Holy cow, this is such a great strategy. I never thought about this before. Just get right behind them. As soon as... As soon as they open up the, uh, the zone. What are they going to do? They're going to chase after me? I mean, come on. They'd be stupid to chase after me. Oh, because I'm having latency and lag. Oh, no, I'm having wheel repair. <laughs> wheel repair dysphoria. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. We don't want to play with him, so... We're going to drive away from him. You want to go after sucker tanks, you know, slow tanks, easy to hit on the side or in the rear. Oh, come on. I think I have six cents on this tank, but I'm really not sure. Another STRV. The problem with the STRVs is that they are relatively fast, and they do have good guns. Ah, F that! So, unfortunately, you can't turn. When, oh, come on! When you have lag and latency, you cannot turn. So these guys all think that I'm a crappy player. But it's the lag and latency is really doing it to me right now. I was having a decent. Oh, come on. Ah. So the, the la I was doing well going in. But once I saw the STRV, the lag started uh, bothering me. And people are going in the comments right now you don't know how to drive, you don't know how to play. You should you should watch Banana Clan. You should you should watch a uh, Banana Streamer because he knows how to play. You should watch an Anukum. Then maybe you'll learn something. You know, I've watched 
Quickie Baby, Des Games, Skill for LTU, Sircon, and all the years I've watched, the number of things that I've learned skill wise watching them, I could count all of them on one hand. I haven't learned that much. The, the, you know, I see things where I say, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. They, they, if you watch all my videos and you know all of my tactics like angling and the reload technique and aiming techniques, these guys don't do it. And it's sad. They should watch my videos. They should be forced to watch my videos. I actually, I do see some players occasionally mention tactics that I also do. I, I do hear it once in a while. Things that, like, the general public doesn't talk about that only a few of us talk about. So I'm going to tell you a tactic. So there is a tactic that you can use to hide from people where you hide in the corner... And what you do is you point your gun in the corner away from the enemy. So if you've never heard of that before, that's a tactic that's people aren't aware of that tactic, but it's very useful. So basically what you do is you hide in the corner and you point your gun away from everyone. And what happens is you won't be able to spot any anybody because you point your gun so that because you spot with your gun. So you point it in the corner so you can't spot anyone. And then when they drive into your part of the neighborhood, their sixth sense doesn't go off. So they think you're not there. So they run off somewhere else on the map. But the problem is you're also not going to spot them. So you don't know that they're there. So it, it's a technique you use when you want to hide from the enemy team at the end of the game. Like an Anakam. Oh, you know what I should do? I should go to a repair facility because otherwise it would be three minutes before I get back in the game. Now, what I should have done is not play. What I should have done was not go through all this crap. If I had good performance, I would have gone around it. So his shot would have had to go through this crap. And if he fired a high explosive round, it probably would have not have damaged me. And he would have had more difficulty aiming at me. The other thing I could have done was gone around that way. But I don't know, for whatever reason, you know, the, the, it's so hard to drive with the lag and latency. It's just crazy. One thing that I've noticed playing um, Frontline this week is that people are playing horribly every day. I mean, today's like the second to last day. So I'm doing better than half my team, even with that lousy performance. The enemy hasn't even advanced. Like uh, three tanks have advanced. So uh, every day people aren't capping, they're not advancing. The horrible gameplay this week. I think it's got to be because most people have won the prize. As you can see my allies, um, let's see what their names are. Uh, v v Volonix and Blair Achahota, <laughs> or is it? <laughs> um, it's just a coincidence. Oh, you know what? We we've been continuously playing on this flank is the reason why. You notice their amazing positioning. I like it when you play in a platoon and you're just random platoon and all three of you get general. I mean, I think it's really cool to do that. Okay, so for the Ag Tiger, he should be playing right here. You get over here, you use this for your hull down position, you can snipe through these areas here, you reverse to go shoot over here, you can hit anybody coming across here, tanks over here and tanks over here. The slower tanks are going to come through the middle. So that's like a very powerful position to play. That's why you'll see me play it, and it's good for tanks like the, the Jig Tig, is that what it says, Jig Tig? 8.8. .8. I believe is how they pronounce it. Jig Tig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So if you see ja 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 j a j a j a in Spanish, that is actually ha ha ha. One thing you learn from living in South America for eight years. Okay, so the enemy has left. I'm gonna enemy has left D, and I'm gonna go to F. Okay, I hit that wrong. No, I hit that right. I hit because f this f this f this so i'm not paying attention um so i'm a little bit confused i was hitting the wrong buttons uh for the throttle and the booster mode you know how to play you shouldn't be playing that tank you're playing the class wrong you're doing a disservice to your team when you play the, uh, when you're playing a tank that you don't know how to play you you playing thirty nine thousand battles, and you don't know the order for which key you're supposed to press on the keyboard for that tank. Please post that in the comments. So I decided to leave. I don't want to deal with the hassle of driving around. Normally, I would I would go around, but th there were too many enemy tanks heading my way. So I said, you know, the smart thing to do is get the hell out of here. I release the auto aim by mistake. So we're going to go this way. Uh, you notice that I'm zigzagging, trying to get the buildings. Ah, F this. If they were spotted, I would literally turn and watch where they were going and make sure that the building was always between me and them. You don't hear the the Unicums say that they do that, but that's what I do. So I, you see me turn sometimes to see how, if there's a building behind me so I can escape without getting hit. I learned that years ago. You know, I'm just a below average player. And I didn't learn it from watching someone else. I had to learn it on my own. Uh, I was playing on Arctic region, which is now Mannerheim line. And I dove into that lower trench and we were playing in the south and I had to exit heading west and there was a rock there and I said I'm going to get behind that rock and keep on driving and the guy fired at me but he missed because I was behind the rock I'm drinking uh, Coca-Cola Light which is served in South America and here in the Philippines probably because it causes cancer uh, let's see what's, what the main ingredient is. Carbonated water, caramel color, acidulant, sucralose, ACE K, uh, sodium benzoate, and acidity regulator number five. So this has sucralose as a sweetener. Maybe that's why I like it. I don't like Coke Zero. I like Coke Light, and it's got to be because it has sucralose. I seem to recall that sucralose was a sweetener that I liked. If you know what clearly Canadian is, I believe that has sucralose. And if you don't know what it is, well, then you suck. Look it up on the internet. Clearly Canadian was the best soft drink that I ever had in my entire life. And people literally, I think you could order it. You can order cases from Amazon, but you got to pay like $5 per bottle. A minute and a half. Because I'm a below average player. Actually, okay, so I sank in the ratings, unfortunately. I was doing well, but you know, you got to deal with, uh, with God's wrath. God's anger, the networking gods, Magog and Gog, Gog and Magog. Only three enemy at OBJ5. So I'm letting them know that they don't have to sit there. So these guys over here, you don't need all these guys over here. It's better to sit in the middle of four and five so they can kind of watch both. You only need one guy over here. And guess what happens if he disappears? If he disappears, you know that there's an enemy coming up. We don't need four guys over here. This STRV is fast. He shouldn't be here. He should be in a different position. 
oh, did I tell you I found a new sniping position today? And you can say, oh, who cares about your crap sniping position, which is what I read in the forums all the time. You see this repair facility? You can hit objective four from south of the repair facility. Look at where I'm pointing on the map. You can hit objective four from there. If I were attacking, guess what? Oh, I spawned in on objective five. I shouldn't have done that. I'm going to do my team a favor. Okay, so maybe it won't be so bad. I'm going to do my team a favor. I'm going to go after this E5. Not That was lag and latency. Uh, you should call me Sergeant Cheap Books. Oh, and I know from playing ELC even 90 that it's a horrible tank. Why would you do that to me? Are you that stupid? Come on, ELC is that dumb. He doesn't know that that, that tank is, is going to crumble. Using auto-aim, you're going to get triggered. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to drive direct. Ah, oh, come on. I was going to drive directly at them. And then supplies. Oh, I thought that was a scorpion. I misjudged it, and I was about to ram it. F that. So you know what happened. It said, you know, we're going to have a hard time hitting anything. And I didn't notice that the turret was jammed, which means that I was not aiming. I was not able to aim at that tank. Um... So that's one of the issues. I wanted to go for the repair facility. So watch. I'm going to go to the house over here, and that's all you got to do, and they can't hit you, right? And that's it. So the turret's going to come around slow, and I don't have a good spotting range because I don't – I might not – okay, this is actually a crew from my Tier 10 AMX 13105. So he's got – he's optimized for spotting. He doesn't have the combat – crew skills you see how well the, uh, F that F that F that I did the repair F that it's actually relatively see I almost went the wrong way but luckily I caught that I almost drove in front of his gun. Okay, it looked very unfriendly. But by the time I was like, you know, there's another tank there and another tank there and another tank there, it was too late. Okay, you see objective four? Where this 152 is, he can hit objective four from this location. You might not be able to pen it with a high pen round I wouldn't be surprised if you can we're going to take in an Udis and we're going to see if we can penetrate objective 4 from here I guarantee you I can do it with the Scorpion with a Ramatal Borsig you'll be able to do it but you're only going to get like 150 damage per shot with uh, the VK you'll be able to do it I think I was doing it for like 88 damage per shot I actually drove a Ramatal to the objective, objective two, got behind it, and I hit like 800 damage in the back. So it's possible. It's not impossible. Okay. If you watch some of my other videos, there's a video where I tell the secret plan how to win the game. If you're attacking, there's a trick you can use to kill objective four, five, and objective one. It's in one of my other videos. I explain how to do it. And I never put it in my sniping videos because it's way too powerful. Anybody that knows how to do it, they would just win every game attacking. And then once other people learn how to do it, they're just going to start winning games. And then Wargaming is going to find out. And then they're going to get mad. And then they're going to change the maps. Uh, they do it all the time. They're constantly changing the maps because of things that, that I've done. So you guys all know that lately in the higher tiers, the light tanks have been rushing across the field 
on maps like Malinovka. That's something that I started. I started it around April of 2018. If you look in my account, there's a video that's like an hour or two hours long, and it's like 30 different maps of me just randomly rushing across the field on every single map. And there's no commentary. And I seem to all, oh, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I screwed up again. Because I was talking about sniping, I thought that I was on the attacking team. The reason why I came here, oh, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I saw all those red dots and I, and I thought, I'm gonna spawn at D and I'm gonna kill all those tanks. But then I spawn north of them, and now I'm not able to take advantage of my speed. This would have been better with a tank destroyer. So I'm not able to use my speed to zip around. I could obviously get behind them, and maybe I will. But we got other things going on here that we got to deal with. Okay, so let's see if we can do a surprise. You want to do it the cocky way, or you want to do it the smart way? You know how to play. The cocky way is you just drive between the largest mass of tanks and start shooting them from behind. Now, do you think that was fair? You know how to play. You have poor driving skills is the reason why. You should watch. Oh, fuck this. You know what? F you, buddy. That would have been so cool if I actually had climbed up onto the upper level. You see, come on. All because of that, I died. All because of that. I'm going to tell you that the lag and latency uh, did make it hard. And my, uh, I have poor driving skills with the wheeled vehicles. So I really screwed that up. Um, that's too bad. That's too bad. You don't know how to play. You're a bad player. You're a below average player. It, you know, like if I get a game, I got a game 8,000 spotting damage in tier 6. 8,000 spotting damage in tier 6. And everybody says, you had a lucky game. Um, or when I do, like, I block 10,000 damage, nobody says, oh, yeah, you did a good job. Or they'll say, no, that's not the right way to block the damage. <laughs> okay, so what I was saying is there's a video in my account that's, like, two hours long, no commentary, and it's a low-quality recording because I had a slow connection at the time. So I had to do a lower quality render in order to upload it. Or maybe there's a four gigabyte limit or something and I had to do it to be within the limit. Or maybe I didn't know how to configure the software properly at the time. I don't remember the reason why. It's me playing 30 or 40 different maps. And what I do is I rush the field on every map just to see what would happen. And I started doing that and I said, okay, some of these maps you can pull it off. Malinovka, Malinovka was the obvious one. And then what I started doing is on Malinovka, I started rushing the field right at the start of the game. And the first thing I realized is my allies would not shoot at the enemy. So then I was saying, okay, I'm going to rush the field. Please shoot at the enemy. And of course, they still wouldn't do it. But eventually, people started doing it, but they made they still didn't understand how to play. So they would rush. I would rush the field. They would shoot at the enemy, but then they would stay at base. And there's another famous YouTuber who mentioned that. He said, that's a horrible strategy because it makes everybody stay at base. What he didn't, and I responded by saying, no, it's not a horrible strategy. People just haven't learned the proper way to do it yet. And there, you, you rush the field. They take the early ambush shots in. They said what the ambushing is. And then they advance to the hill where they want to fight. And then you go to the upper field and you rush that part. And then you're spotting for that same group a second time. And the tanks that you're spotting are the same tanks. And you're going to damage those tanks a second time. And then they go up to the hill and then you play whatever strategy is relevant based on what happens. And nobody does that, but that's the proper way to play it. There's a Des Games video on the map Swamp that is a strategy that I came up with. And not only is it the same exact strategy in the same position, but he played the same exact tank. And, you know, they talk about what a great game it is. I, hold on a second.
okay, so um, I'm going to quit. These guys are going to think that, that I'm lying, of course. And so, oh, yeah, sure you do, sure you do. I really would love to platoon with people and do hit and run. I've got, I was just going to say, why am I at the top? I want to do, okay, so you can see I did better than half my team. The, the latency was not that bad. Didn't do good for kills. Obviously, if you if you've watched my other videos, you'll see that I've had horrible latency. It wasn't that bad, but you see how it f's you up. It really f's you up. This is uh, five skills. It's not my best crew. This is my bat chat crew. You can see I don't use six cents. I use adrenaline rush. I made a post in the forums saying, does anybody play without Six Sense? And of course, there's 30 responses about what a troll I am and how I I don't understand the mechanics of the game and how stupid I would be to ever do it while I'm doing it. Okay, that's enough for today. Please post in the comments what a crap player I am.